A preview of what the defenders are working on all new tonight at 11. It's been three months since the Parkland shooting, the latest in a long line of mass shooting incidents. So we had an idea. What if we sat down with students, middle and high school students, had their parents nearby and had a very frank conversation. We talked about gun laws and do they feel safe at school? Some of their answers surprised us all. I know my teachers will try to protect us, but it's really hard if someone has a gun. I'm Michelle Bowden, the full story tonight at 11. New information about a scooter ride share program after only a day. Charlotte is shutting the operation down. Lime launched the service Tuesday morning, but there's one small problem. The city says they never gave the company permission to use city sidewalks as a place to store scooters. Leaders we talked to say there are also a number of safety issues that need to be addressed. That's why they're pumping the brakes on the program. We'd have to obviously consider helmet laws. We'd have to consider rider age and do they need to be insured. But scooters could be in play for the future. The city released this statement saying, quote, moving forward, the city of Charlotte is communicating with scooter sharing companies to evaluate options and establish safety guidelines. Tonight, drivers need to be on alert after skimmers were found on two gas pumps in our area. Investigators discovered the devices at the county corner Texaco on East Highway 150 in Lincolnton. Last week, the sheriff's office started getting calls about card fraud from several victims. It's believed the skimmers were put in the pumps before March 27th. If you use that gas station, investigators say to keep a close eye on your bank account. New at six, patients are coming from hundreds of miles away to try a new kind of treatment that some are calling a game changer in the fight against cancer. And tonight there's hope that it could fight a broader range of cancers. NBC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden has all the details. It's amazing. It's like being given your life back. Just two years ago, this 55 year old Charlotte mother of three never imagined she'd be alive, let alone showing off pictures from amazing vacations around the world. I was told that with treatment, I had about a 30% chance of surviving. A radiologist, Rom and Stacy Humphreys, knew exactly how bad things were when her cancer came back for the third time. No one can really prepare for dying at an earlier age. She managed to find a promising clinical trial using what's called CAR-T cell therapy. Uh, patients on immune cells can be uh, genetically engineered to fight against cancer cells. Two years ago, Humphreys had to go to Ohio State for the treatment that right now only works on certain blood cancers. I got their last spot. She says the experimental treatment saved her life, and now other cancer patients can get similar care right here in Charlotte. Levine Cancer Institute is one of a handful of hospitals across the country now hosting clinical trials. This is something which is very promising. The hope is that this groundbreaking treatment will soon be able to fight many more cancers. This is a huge leap uh, towards, uh, you know, treatment, at least in these diseases. Diseases that once left patients with very little hope. I am definitely living my life. It's just like the uh, Tim McGraw sign, live like you're dying, but actually I'm not dying now. In Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, NBC Charlotte.